Welcome. This is the Fender Mustang 1 V2 modelling amp. You get pretty much what you expect with any modern amp. So you've got a grill. It has got that classic Fender twinkle, but I can't seem to get it to show up on camera, but it is there. Logo, buttons and dials on top. Carry handle, of course. It comes with a USB cable, a kettle lead and a manual. This is the manual. First and second page are just safety instructions in various languages. The third and fourth page are the operating instructions. Operating the amp itself is actually quite straightforward once you've got into it. There's a lot to learn once you get into Fender Fuse, but we'll cover that later on. However, it is very rewarding and there's a lot of tones that can be had with this amp. There is a table that tells you what the effect selections are. Same for delay. If you're not used to using effects, it can be very handy to have that. Although after a while, you'll probably find that you've got an ear for effects and you won't really need these. I'm gonna do a quick overview of the top of the amp. This is where all the buttons are. So you've got input, foot switch. I've not got the foot switch yet, but it seems to be pretty basic anyway. I'll get it, just kind of play with it. See what happens, it might be all right. You've got gain, volume, treble, and bass. Don't worry about mid, because you can get mid on the Fender Fuse app amongst loads of other buttons, I'll show you. And then you've got master, then there's a handful of presets that start with orange. The orange ones are factory preset and you can't change them. They're not great, they're a bit showy offy, too many effects, not a lot of subtlety. And then you've got green and red banks which are totally customizable through the Fender Fuse app and through the amp itself. You can change them, get them perfect, then save them. So you can get snap straight back to them whenever you like. There are a handful of effects that are on the amp itself, but the way they work is you kind of select them and there's a key in the uh, manual that shows you what they are. So they go through like A through to D and then you change sort of the rate or whatever just by tapping this button here. So there's a handful of mods, a handful of delay slash reverb. You can plug an AUX in, so like an MP3 player or a phone or anything like that with a 3.5mm jack for backing tracks and stuff like that. Headphones, which will come in handy, especially here. Power, as usual, that's just a bog standard sort of rock switch. And then you've got a USB socket, which is really handy because you can record, you can go through Fender Fuse which I'll show you in a bit. And um, I'll also show, you, also show you how to get um, some other software. I don't know if it's always bundled in, but when I registered mine, I got access to Ableton and um, some of the Vendor Fuse collection on Amplitube. And I'll show you that next. Okay. So this is the tuner. If you want to activate it, press the tap button, hold it for a few seconds. It's your tuner. I'll start with a high E. So if I twang that, it tells me now that it's spot on. So you've got your green light and your corresponding light on the banks. You see the E lights up. So just to show you kind of exactly what it's all about, I'll go flat down a bit. Yep, there we go. Then I'll go sharp. You probably already know this, but the name of the game with these kind of simplistic tuners is just to get that green light spot on, which it is. First thing to do after you've plugged it in and had a quick blast is go to the back, get your serial number, go to the Fender website and register your amp and it gives you access to Ableton Live and a handful of gear from Amplitude Custom Shop.
To get the most out of this amp, you'll need Fender Fuse. It's available for Mac or PC, and you can get it by going to fuse.fender.com. I will put a link in the description as well. Any buttons or dials that you manipulate on the amp itself will happen on the app in real time, so it is truly interactive. Watch as I move the bass dial and it happens on the app at the same time, in real time. Once you've downloaded Fender Fuse, this is what you can expect to see. So you've got a handful of Fender amps. So you've got the kind of 60s, 70s sort of stuff, the really old stuff, the tweedy stuff. You've got British 80s, which I'm guessing is supposed to be a Marshall. There's British colour, which is clearly supposed to be an orange. You've also got sort of like a virtual pedal board. So you can kind of take your pick there. Loads of different stuff. There's also post amp stuff. There's loads of different features there. We'll move on, make a selection, and I'll give you a quick demo. This is my favorite so far. I like to go pretty pure with it actually. In fact, let me just change that so it gives you my kind of sweet spot that I've got dialed in. So after you've had a little go with that, you might like to see that there are various pedals on this kind of virtual pedal board. This one seems to be pretty popular. You can hear a lot of people using it. Let's check it out. I mentioned evil distortion. Once you've actually registered your amp, go to the My Amplifier section of your profile. You'll see your serial number. You'll see the Ableton Live 8 serial number. I just used this serial number for Ableton Live 10 and it worked. So give that a try. You'll also see the serial that you can use on Amplitube Custom Shop to get a handful of Fender equipment on it. This is the website I went to, to download Ableton 10 Live Lite. Download it initially on Mac or PC. Once you start it, it'll act like a free trial. But use that serial number from your Fender Fuse profile and it will become permanent. I'll put a link in the description for the site as well. This is the website I went to to download Amplitude Custom Shop. It's free initially and it comes with a handful of equipment built in. Once you've used your serial number, you'll get a handful of Fender equipment as well. I'll put a link in the description. Just know that it doesn't interact with your amp in the same way that Fender Fuse does. What you're really doing is just using your amp as a USB interface. So you'll need to turn down the master volume on your amp itself 
and use either a big old pair of headphones or some speakers on your PC. Right, this is what you seem to get with the code. So it gives you access to Amplitude 4, but not really the whole thing as such, but the equipment that you get from Fender and a lot of free stuff that comes with it. So I'll select a couple of bits, like uh, just as a demonstration, I'm not going to go deep into this. It's just to show you that it's got that capability that it's quite happy to act as a USB interface so that you can use this. So there's your 65 twin reverb that comes with it. And next bit I'll have a little twang on it and just show you that it does work. So there you have it, quick demo of the 65 Twin Reverb. Maybe it could do with a bit of finessing, but that'll be for another video. Next I'll show you a stomp box of some kind of pedal. Um, let's have a look. Let's try a free one. Let's try a chorus. I'll put everything on say two o'clock and let's check it out There you go, chorus, everything on two, bit harsh, sounded a bit like a horror score, but it's there. This is not the main thing about the Fender Mustang, but it's a nice little bonus feature, and it's worth checking out.